be doing this vlog is just doing that you know mid-fall reset because I feel like I need it usually the first thing I do is I will sit down and I will just start writing down all of my goals for career personal whatever it is and then I will kind of write like a little game plan of like how to get there and it's really funny that I do this because I am more of a type B personality like I'm a little more go with the flow like not a lot of things bother me um i don't have to have control of things however i do like to make lists when my life gets out of order so i think that i'm a type b personality but i thrive under structure so i'm going to kind of like explain a little bit of like my situation and like the place that i'm in right now so back in the beginning of my career i was definitely operating in my masculine and my manifestation goals were very career driven like it was always like i i'm i have a million followers on instagram like i make this amount of money i have this car like you know it was all very like career and success driven once i accomplished those things i kind of didn't really know what i wanted anymore and i you know kind of accomplished them as I was starting to get into a healthy relationship with Michael and you know I felt like I lost a lot of that manifesting power just because I didn't know what my goals were and looking back at it now I really feel like I needed those three years to heal and to really figure out what I want because in order to manifest properly you have to really know what you want and you have to like fully believe and know that like that is for you and anytime i'd like write something down i was just like you know that doesn't feel right like i'd write down like a following amount and i'm just like it doesn't feel right in my heart to write that down and so i feel like i'm finally in a place of where i know what i want and i'm able to manifest these things because it feels right in my core. I want to give like a little backstory so that like a lot of this makes sense. So living in LA really put me in a place of my masculine. I always felt like I had to like protect myself and I was always on guard. Um, like there just wasn't much of this like soft, loving, warm, caring, go with the flow person that I am now. Then I met Michael and Michael is like an angel such a healthy masculine man that truly brought me back into my feminine and allowed me to heal like he left so much room and space and unconditional love for me to heal and come back to being like who i really am at the core and he really took me out of that like fight or flight mode that i felt like i'd been living in for a really long time um and so he really just provided the safest place for me um, sorry that was a lot of talking i just really wanted to share that part of what's been going on with me because i've like shared a little bit here and there but i wanted to go a little bit more in depth now that i feel like i'm in the right place too anyways i am going to clean the house do laundry give corn out a bath put in a hair mask, go to the grocery store, and then we are going to my cousin's house and we're going to make dinner and watch movies. So yeah.
Michael and I are gonna head to the grocery store. We're gonna pick up some stuff for the week and a few things to go over to my cousin's house. Um, and then we're gonna come back here really quick, feed the dogs, and then go over. random but michael's stealing <laughs> going to dinner and he doesn't know what to do buddy he's taking your food what are you gonna do about it he's taking your food <laughs> who do you want let me have me <laughs> she's, she's fighting for her food go get buddy. your food he's so nervous Go ahead. <laughs> and now he like scarfs it down. Uh, These are the things that give me stress. <laughs> Having to turn off your damn lights all the time. Sorry. God. Look guys. I'm leaving the light on. He's mad. I'm not mad. What are you? Stress? <laughs> Irritated. <laughs> <laughs> Bye corn man. I love you. Bye Bye. You stupid little idiot. Hey, you be nice to him. It's really good. Do so you have one? Well, yeah. I just. Did you like one? No. No meter. No meter no. before, bro. That's you didn't meter after all. Oh, it's it. Is. Thanks. I worked with. How you doing? Pete Rich. Shout out to all the vegans in the world. Uh, ooh, baby, look at this. Do you see it? Oh, yeah. Laura told me the other day that I needed to get up and stretch my legs. <laughs> 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 Just like, like. Why, why can't you have it? It just, it makes me. It's the thing you said something to me. About to go horseback riding i'm finally taking lessons i'm super excited about this i had my first lesson last week um and it was really fun it was kind of just learning the ropes like how to take care of a horse how to be safe around a horse um so this time i think i'm actually gonna you know get to have a little more hands-on time and kind of start to do all the things i learned on my own which i'm super excited to do one thing i'm really excited about with riding horses and just learning more about them and how to have one is ha being around a horse requires a lot of presence one because they're this really big powerful strong animal that can hurt you two the horse can sense when you're present they're really good at reading energy and when you're just present and fully like pure with a horse I feel like everything just energetically flows like you don't have as many like problems on the horse and and all of that and my horse trainer was actually talking to me about this and just how spiritual they are and how much humans 
um, can connect with horses on a deeper level. I'm someone who definitely struggles living in the present moment and part of me I think it's a little bit from like childhood trauma and like escaping off in my my head zoning out um, but two I think that my job being on social media kind of causes me to live through a lens rather than through my actual eyes because like when I'm experiencing something I'm trying to experience it for you guys too through a camera like trying to capture it therefore I'm not like living in the present moment and like actually like fully absorbing I guess the word like everything that is happening um like I feel like I sometimes I can't feel the full emotion or you know whatever it is when I have a camera in my hands um just because there's so many things like I'm thinking about just like with like, getting the right shot like the lighting the angle like keeping my hands steady so a lot of the times I feel like it can take me out of the present moment so I've always kind of like had a struggle with that and so I feel like having a horse and just being around them is going to help bring me back to that which I'm just excited about um so like time just freaking flies and I'm like so scared of the idea of being like 50 and just being like how the hell did I get here like I just want to be present and to be able to fully feel and experience life you know so <laughs> I'm excited to start this little horsey journey on a second note I have the Hailey Bieber lip tint, the light pink one. It's really cute. She did good. We just got some of our bar stools that are gonna go right here. I'm honestly a little bit nervous to open them up because I have returned three rugs, but the last one that we have right now was good. It looks really good, so it's worth it all. So hopefully I did good with this one. Ordering online is always so difficult, but let's hope I got a little bit better. <laughs> So 
Michael just went to Home Depot and I'm gonna go to Home Goods. Um, I'm gonna get some of the cute little stuff to decorate the table. I don't know what I'm gonna find there. Sometimes Home Goods is hit or miss. So let's hope that we find something good. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to go just to look and then I might get some pumpkins from this cute little farmer's stand. So I lied. I was going to World Market, not Home Goods. Basically, in my head, they're like the same thing. I mean, aren't they? I don't know. Anyways, um, now I'm headed to a little farmer's market to get some cute locally grown pumpkins. They are like the cutest, like they have the cutest colors, the cutest shapes. Oh my god, bright lights. So bright. Anyways, I'm gonna go here really quick and then I'm gonna try and hit this antique store called Gas Lamp Antiques. back from the antique store and I'm hi guys <laughs> and I'm sitting here saging all of this stuff because I feel like an antique store like these used to be somebody else's and I don't want any energy that's attached to it I'm just taking some sage and I'm going to burn it around it <laughs> y'all might think I'm like crazy for this but Better safe than sorry, you know? I have it all laid out. I'm just gonna show you what I got. So I got this cute little basket for like some pumpkins or something. Got this pot. I'm gonna put some dried herbs that I got from the farmer's market. And then I have this cute little candle holder. And then this little tray that I'm probably gonna put some random stuff, maybe sage in. Honestly, it looks really cute. <laughs> get out of the way um before we we're gonna go swimming um and before we go since i'm a blondie and to all of you other fellow blondies this is my solution to going in a chlorinated pool it's gonna get dark come on okay one second on. i have to put conditioner put in my hair oh my god i do i thought it was gonna turn green do you want me to have green hair yeah it'd be kind of cool oh no it's like nasty like lemonade looking green i like lemonade <laughs> Okay, anyways, I'm just gonna put this all in here so that my hair, there's like a barrier in between. And this is just my conditioner that I use. This is the Inner Sense Hydrating Cream um, Conditioner. I'm just gonna put it all over. And my mom actually taught me this because she is a hairstylist um, back home. And she used to do this to her hair when we were younger and we go swimming. Alrighty, we're ready. I said no. I did not say that. I said this pool does not have a heater. This pool does not have a heater. <laughs> <laughs> 